To my left sits a home with a tagline, views from the cliffs. This home is two stories with five bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms on the market for 11 and a half million rand. Now views are amazing, but mean nothing without places to appreciate them from. This home has not one, but two jacuzzis, as well as a heated pool, bar area, and floor to ceiling windows throughout it. It is a masterpiece with a view that will no doubt take your breath away for many years to come. So follow me as we tour this stunning home perched atop Northcliffe Hill. My name is Chad Riveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. And once again, we are touring some of the most exclusive and in-demand homes all throughout South Africa. Welcome home. Coming through your upmarket stainless steel doors, you're greeted by a three-car garage, fully enclosed and covered up with this stunning wood. Then right in front of me, we've got a carport with extra high ceilings in case you are a caravaner or an outdoorsman. You've got plenty of space to store all of your outdoor goods, all of your caravans, maybe even uh, other buckies or trucks in here. We've also got a double staff accommodation and then a fully enclosed cottage just around the corner there. But enough about the outside, it's time to venture inside this stunning double story home. So coming through the front door, you are greeted immediately by a stunning entrance hall, massive ceilings and a hey, ultra cool skylight just above you that's angled to make sure the rainwater glides off of that and lets in so much natural light. Another huge contributor to natural light in this area specifically is this insanely big window right over here, really brightening up this area, making it feel spacious, making it feel airy. And this area also leads off into three separate directions. So we're gonna take this archway right here straight into the living quarters. Let's see what it's got in stock for us. These double doors lead off to your first set of living quarters. We can easily call this your TV room or even yeah, your movie room. You've got a projector right over there hitting this wall. Your floor to ceiling windows behind you with plenty of both curtain as well as blind space. So if you really wanna make this room super dark and private for those movie nights, you know you're covered. So much space here, L-shaped couch. Massive little fat sack that looks very, very comfy for those movie nights. But off in the corner here, because of the way this room's shaped, you've got space for a six-seater, probably easily an eight-seater dining room table here. So if you would like to eat while enjoying some TV or even the company of your friends, you know you can do that. You can see speakers built into the ceiling all the way around. So there's so much room. I think this house is probably one of the few that we've done that's got so much space and potential for you to make this your own. And that is the tag for private property, hashtag your space, your rules. And this home is all about that. I think we should also focus on this incredible sliding door right over here that leads out onto some AstroTurf, as well as your heated pool, but more of that a little bit later. Let me scoot around this side and come up to the rest of the living areas. So coming through these stunning pillars right over here, we find ourselves in living room number two. Once again, you can do whatever you want with this room, specifically because it's angled so nicely. It leads through to the other room almost seamlessly if we get rid of that table here. So depending on what you wanna do, you can do it. But again, the star of the show, and I'm so sorry if I repeat myself, is this view. I don't think the camera is ever gonna do it justice. But this room, like all others, has got an unobstructed view of pretty much everything. You can see all the way down to Krugersdorp. I'm sure you could probably see Santon as well if you look off to your right. And through this door is some of my favorite areas. The bar, 100%, but also the kitchen area. Let's check it out. Now your kitchen placed 
comfortably between your living areas as well as your hallway. That hallway also leads off to the scullery area, almost direct access. You'll scoot right across and find yourself in your scullery. But this kitchen area, I'm sure some of you had noticed, natural light is also key right here. We've got this massive skylight over here. I mean, it is a huge tunnel. It looks so cool. And if you can notice on camera, there's some wires leading across it. That is for these blinds. They go all the way across. If you are looking for, I don't know, maybe some darkness, if you are looking not to have direct sunlight come blazing into your kitchen, you know that you can close that off. It's already built in right over here. Beautiful natural stone center countertop, under counter storage, really storage all the way around. A cool feature for me and one that we don't see so often is this under counter lighting. Really like that. We've got some display cabinets with glass in them, letting you show off all your cool crockery. And then in terms of appliances, let's take a look at what they've got. They've got an extractor fan, D5, also a D5 electric oven top, four burner. And then we've got a double oven right over here, one on top of the other, space for a TV. If you're looking to watch some Jamie Oliver while you're whipping up, while you're whipping up your meals and for your YouTube fans out there, some Uncle Roger over here, a beautiful little breakfast nook. And the reason why I say it is so nice is not just the chandelier, but because just off to your left, a sliding door leading out to your outside area. And that's your view. I mean, there's such an amazing breeze coming through here right now. So I can definitely picture myself sitting right here, enjoying some croissants, some French toast, and really just loving the sunrise that you must see in the morning at this home. But let's go this way and show you how everything intermingles. Right over here behind me, we've got the bar area, some other places that you can sit down and enjoy the view. This right over here is your hallway leading back to the front door. And right over here where we're walking in, this is the scullery area. And let's take a look at what features and benefits you've got right over here. Your scullery area has place for all your appliances, a double door fridge as well as single door fridge. Pretty much all your under counter appliances, plenty of cupboard space. You've got a double sink there with a water filtration tap as well. And then a door for a room closet. And then it leads outside. Now your outside area, you can use it for all of your laundry drying, maybe for storage, maybe for food prep, maybe even for DIY. But this is also what leads off to that double staff quarters that we spoke about before. But now that we've wrapped up that scullery area, let's head back into the bar area. Let's take a look at what that looks like, what the outside looks like, those jacuzzis, and then it's time to head all the way back around and upstairs. Food and drink 100%, my two favorite areas, and in this home, they are grouped together with a killer view to boot. Right over here, maybe an informal dining room area, maybe a place to just sit down, play Scrabble, and enjoy your time with friends and family. But when friends are over, and maybe when the in-laws are over, this is where you're gonna be visiting most, and that is your in-built bar, and it is kitted out like few we have seen on the Home Shopper Show since. As you can see, you can head right around the back of the bar, place there for ice makers, your own fridge, under counter storage, lighting galore. This must really pop at night. And something else that might pop at night is if you find yourself walking out this set of sliding doors, got a nice, beautiful outdoor area here, place for you to enjoy breakfast. But without a doubt, my favorite is, let's come over here. Got these rock formations, AstroTurf, and a jacuzzi. And let's slowly show you what this is. This has got, so behind me, pops out in all of its glory, and that is this insanely incredible view. Can you imagine at night, bar coming through these floor to ceiling windows, jacuzzi right over here for you to relax, unwind from the hard day's work. Guys, we've grinded to get into this home. Finally, we've purchased it, and we get to enjoy the fruits of our labor, sitting in this jacuzzi and enjoying that view. But other things to do here, you can run down the wood decking, love it, beautiful, deep, deep, rich wood decking, and you've got a sun deck over here, glass railings, stainless steel, for you to enjoy this still, maybe while you suntan. But then you can run around and up here, and that brings us back into your outdoor, let's say your outdoor entertainment areas. Let's check it out. And there we go. Up the stairs, we find ourselves in that area that I was talking about. One of the coolest features, specifically since this is so enclosed. I think something I also need to mention is we've got these stackable glass doors and they're the frameless type as well. So if you don't want to be bothered by the wind, if maybe you want this to be more enclosed, maybe the weather's not great, you can have this fully, fully enclosed. It is another indoor area. You can see we've got leather furniture outdoor here, beautiful, beautiful designer chairs, but also we've got a bra. You guys can bra indoors, you can bra outdoors. This home has got it all. 
And really, when I say it's got it all, it's even got another one of these incredible skylights right over here. We've got some prep space. If we are doing food, we've got, again, windows that you can slide open and talk to people in the jacuzzi if they are there. This is really an entertainer's dream. This sliding door leads off into your bar area. This sliding door leads off into your kitchen area. And this sliding door, which you can also open, fat sack wedged against it, leads off into that living room slash TV area. Plug points outside here, blinds already installed for you. And this section of the outdoor area wraps straight around past all your living quarters into the pool area. Let's take a look at that as well. We've got a, a heated pool, indoor outdoor heated pool. How cool is that? And here we are for those confused at how we journeyed around here. A lot more will make sense as we tour the rest of this home, but there's so much to talk about here. Again, we've got another jacuzzi right over here. I mean, this is epic. This pool is heated. So it's not heated by electricity, it's heated due to uh, the heating elements on the roof. This home also comes with 50 solar panels already installed. So not only is your pool heated, the rest of your electricity is also taken care of. And I think something I need to mention is this glass enclosure. You see these frameless glass windows right over here. They do open, but they open up to this point right over here. So if you do want this to be indoor, outdoor, if you want it closed, if you want it open, this home has got it handled. So now let me show you how this connects to the rest of the home. Now from the pool area, and you can see just how spacious it is, we've got a outdoor bar sitting right over here. We come through the sliding door into a small area that could be used currently as a gym, could be another office, could be a playroom, could really be whatever you want. You could even knock out some walls and have this outdoor area extend all the way to here. So all the mirrors behind me, so we have to be super careful in editing. But we're gonna come through here and we find ourselves back at the front. On my left is that front door. On my right is your guest bathroom, that half bathroom. And right in front of me is the first set of doors we went through. So let's take a look quickly at this half bathroom. We're going upstairs afterwards, come on. You've got a super spacious guest bathroom with a place to sit down, your single vanity, toilet tucked away, and beautiful sunlight streaming in from the right-hand corner. It is really everything you'd like a guest bathroom so close to the entrance to look like. But now, without a doubt, it's time to take the journey up this set of stairs. Again, quite a nice stylish railing over here, leading off to the upstairs area. We've got all the bedrooms located upstairs, all five of them. So come on with me, let's take a look at what we've got in store. Quite a nice fancy railing here, stopping you from falling off because this is quite a nice view looking out onto your entry hall. I'd say you definitely just over um, one story up above right now and then this railing wraps all the way around and leads us off to a pajama lounge. But before we talk about that pajama lounge, let me just say that as soon as you come up that set of stairs, you can basically walk into the master suite, but we're not gonna start there. Let's quickly just run through this pajama lounge. Again, a skylight right of here, letting in a lot of natural light. Space here for you to sit down and enjoy some TV upstairs with your family without having to run downstairs. Some of these big homes, a lot of people think you've gotta do a lot of running around, but not this one. It is all about comfort and simplicity. Although that view is definitely a lot more than simple. Right over here, you've got a massive guest suite. No ensuite bathroom for this one, but it is just around the corner. We've got an air con, we've got another skylight. We've got so much space here. This is like some townhouses, whole living room area. So obviously TV right over there, another skylight. Your very own personal balcony, just through those sliding doors. Behind me, a bed, it feels like you're at a hotel, feels like you're at a home away from home and then some more natural light coming through this window over here. If you walk outside, as I mentioned, that pajama lounge right there. Mm, I like the double doors. Then onto my right hand side, we've got your linen cupboard. Over there, we've got another storage cupboard. And then coming through this security area, you've got a bedroom here and a bedroom right in front of me with this bathroom servicing both of them. So let's talk about this, then let's head all the way back around and take a look at the master suite, the creme de la creme. Walking into your first room on the right, you'll see it makes a perfect teen's room, child room, even an office. Sliding door leads out to a balcony that spans the length of the top story. Plenty of cupboard space and a built-in desk right in the center there in case this is devoted to one of your special little ones. 
Now coming to room number two, you'll see this one is very special. Not only is it exceptionally large, with cupboard space dominating the one room aircon, it leads off into its very own, say, lounge area. Plenty of sliding doors leading out onto that balcony with a spectacular view. And this room really does make the perfect bedroom slash office homework play area. And that sums up this wing of the house. Let's travel back through the pajama lounge. Enjoy that incredible view coming up over these railings because now it's time to take a look at the creme de la creme, the master suite, the one everybody's been waiting for. What does it look like living atop Northcliffe Hill and sleeping in the master bedroom? Let's go. And here we are, the master suite, the creme de la creme, but there's so much to speak about here. Obviously, the bedroom itself, absolutely massive. You can see the TV here, another sitting room area over here. I mean, this carpet is almost dwarfed in the size of this room. One of my favorite features is this retro stove right over here. Smokeless stove comes through the smokestack right outside, never bothers you. And something else that's definitely not gonna bother you is the incredible view almost 360 view you get from this room. But now this room's got a couple of really cool features around it, so let's talk about that. Right over here, you've got an office. So obviously you can do whatever you like with this. Put a sunroof right over there. Desk just underneath it makes you feel very cool, makes you feel very special, makes you feel in charge, I like it. Sliding doors over here, this leads out to the same balcony. Actually, I'm wrong with that. One sliding door, right over there leads off and I will point it out to the same balcony that attaches to all other bedrooms. This or these two sliding doors lead out to your very own personal balcony. Very, very cool. I like that a lot. Now, we've got some cupboard space just behind there or should I say shelving space. You'll see we've got a, a sliding door here. This now or what has currently been done is that is a another bedroom completely. You can break this off, you can open it up, you can do whatever you want. And we're gonna talk about this right now because I'm gonna run on the other end of that sliding door. Bam, here I am with the magic of editing. The sliding door is now on my right hand side and we're in this bedroom here. Again, quite a spacious bedroom, a four poster bed easily fits in here. We've got aircon in this area as well. And right over here, you have your very own ensuite bathroom, built-in cupboards. Now this bathroom, also quite kitted out, single vanity, toilet, as well as bathtub with its very own window. So you've got, again, all of those options of how you would like this house to look, which so few homes really have, specifically in this marketplace. So this is the fifth bedroom, or a massive, massive master suite, if you'd like that. So now, leading off to this side of the room, We've got that sliding door that I was talking about earlier that leads off to that expansive balcony running the length of the home. Just behind me, we've got a walk-in closet which is quite deep and very, very spacious. Some of your CCTV uh, equipment's in here as well. Plenty of cupboard space. And over here, obviously the master bathroom. We've got a shower behind me, double vanity over here, mirrors all over. I absolutely love just how well these mirrors work in a home with a view as incredible of that as that. Sliding door over there, windows over here, and a corner jacuzzi bathtub right over there, raised up. You get to jump up the stairs, sit in the bath, and I definitely think it's gonna be a relaxing bathtub. Guys, this has been an incredible home. I absolutely love the homes on Northcliffe Hill. I think so many of them have so much character, and they're so very special. So, what I think we need to do right now for this special home is just travel outside, we're gonna put a beautiful panning shot over this incredible view while I talk about how you can become the next owner of it. Let's go. And now, taking a walk outside, I get to enjoy this view while I tell you why this home is such a good choice for any discerning homeowner. It is not just the facilities or the potential, but it is without a doubt the fact that views like this are close to second to none. So I don't think this home is gonna be on the market for too long, and I think you should snatch it up as soon as you can. And if you'd like to do so, all the details of the agency, as well as the agent, is in the description of this video. Contact Lou Geffen Sotheby's as soon as possible. But from myself, Chad Riveros, thank you so much to everybody who makes this possible, everybody at Private Property, as well as everybody at the Home Shopper Show and all of our fans who tune in for every single one of these episodes. Thank you for your likes and your comments. I can't wait to hear what your favorite part of this home is, and we'll see you again every Monday and Friday at 8 p.m. Love you, goodbye.